Well, a big question mark surrounds Port Adelaide for this season and the man in charge, Ken Hinckley, joins us now. Ken, thanks for coming on. My pleasure. Fifth in your first year, third in your second year, disappointing season last year, ninth. What's in store for 2016? Yeah, obviously we'd, we'd hope to uh, jump back up the ladder a little bit and uh, improve from, from where we were in, in 2014. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of work to be done. There's a long way to go. Well, first of all, we've just got to go into qualify and, and give ourselves the best chance by being really consistent week in, week out. Did the players last year handle the expectations of being a premiership threat well enough? Oh, well, the results would say no, and as a club we didn't handle as well as we would have liked because we didn't achieve the results that we wanted, but uh, you know, it wasn't just that. There's, you know, there's a lot of factors that go into an AFL season and you know, we let ourselves down at the wrong times and we paid a price. Ken, how are Paddy Ryder and Angus Monfries going and what kind of contact are you having with them? Obviously, no footy contact at all, and uh, you know, look, they're doing reasonably well, to be fair. And uh, you know, but they're about to come into the hardest time. I think you know, the footy season's about to start, so they're, they're going to be, you know, at their their worst. I would have thought emotionally uh, when the football season's on. But both boys are doing pretty well. We stay regular contact as best we can from a, from a welfare point of view, and that's all. You know, and I know both boys, uh, you know, are doing reasonably well. Now, how are you going to replace Paddy Ryder? Because if you look at what happened with Max Gorn, they got hold of you a bit in the ruck. Um, is that a bit of a concern? And how are you going to actually do that? Because no, nah, look, we've got great, great uh, belief in Lobes. You know, Matty Lobe, he, he'll, he'll have a, a pretty strong season again. I'm sure he will. He's, he's carried the ruck for us before Paddy. He'll do it again this year. And yeah, it's disappointing to lose a player of Paddy's quality and Gus's quality. But you know, they're, they're the things that we've dealt with, and we just have to handle them. Ken, uh, Charlie Dixon's been picked to play against Richmond in a massive boost for you guys, and of course, power fans. What can we expect from him this year? Yeah, it'll be limited game time. Tomorrow night, I think that's the important thing. Don't don't expect too much from Charlie. He's coming off a four week little little injury, but you know he's had a pretty good pre season up to that point. We just want to get him rolling for, for hopefully for the start. For, so he's ready for round one. Look, we brought him here as a long term player. You know whatever he does this year, hopefully he'll continue to improve. And I know the boys like seeing him on the track. Uh, Jared Pollock, I understand he played uh, against West Adelaide last week in the S N F L. How's he come along with that navicular? Yeah, as you know, in the S N F L, it's pretty tough little competition. Um, <laughs> Polly did really well, you know, we, we're, really, we're really pleased with where he's at. It's a tough injury that he's come off, you know, he, he missed since round five. We're really excited by what he's been able to bring back to the table. You know, we're managing him tomorrow night. We, wouldn't, we just didn't want him to play on Eddie Had, not for any other reason other than it just makes no sense to take the risk. Ken, there's been some criticism from other clubs, quite a number of other clubs, about the fact that Port Adelaide and the clubs that are the suspended players are allowed to have that outside of the salary cap. So the salaries of Paddy Ryder and... Angus Monfrey's about outside. Is that, how do you see that? Is that unfair? I've got a bigger criticism that we're starting the season with less numbers, you know, and, and some of that, some part of that was out of our control. I think that's worse than, than anything else that's going on. But you know what? There's rules that are put in place there. They're, they're governed by the AFL Commission and we respect that. Ollie Wines, I wanted to ask you about him. We've seen him here at Fox Footy today. He is a huge boy. How's his shoulder going? It was a massive blow last year, but uh, how's his fitness coming along? I oh, know he hasn't missed a beat in the pre-season. He's a beast, you're right. He, you know, he's a big boy. He's only a youngster still, and uh, you know, he's, he's a big fella. But he's had a great pre-season. He's ready to play. Look, by Ollie's own admissions, he'd like to bounce back from his last game, I'm sure, and I'm sure he will. You've got six of the first nine games at the Adelaide Oval. That's a, that's a good opportunity. Yeah, yeah, it is, but it doesn't mean much. You know, we've seen you know, draws are draws. They're, they're there for you, and you have to you have to get through them all. You know, all 22 games, when they fall and how they fall is is out of your control. You just got to do the most and make the most of every opportunity. You know, we started last year. We played the top six sides as they finished at the end of the year in the first six rounds. We got through that okay. And we we messed up in parts that we shouldn't have, but that's what footy does to you. Just one quick one on Nathan Cracker. How's he progressing? He's a bit of an enigma, isn't he? Yeah, he's a really good story, Crack. You know, he's, he's made a, a big fight back into the football world and uh, done really well. He's had a little bit of a hamstring in the last couple of weeks. He'll, he'll be available for round one. He's progressing really well. I've seen him this morning. I'm really excited by what he might bring to the team this year. Uh, just on a more sombre note, uh, one of your former teammates, of course, Paul Couch, passed away suddenly over the weekend. That must have uh, come as a, a huge shock. Yeah, it's just, I mean, it's just a, a terrible situation, Geraldine and the family and, uh, you know, all Paul's family. I mean, it's just... No one, no one can handle and understand why those things happen. You just try to support people the best way you can. Couch, was a great teammate, a great player, and uh, you know, not more you can say about others. Just a terrible situation. Well, Ken, it's going to be a massive season for the Port Adelaide Football Club. We uh, appreciate you coming in, and good luck for the season. Thanks for having me.